Where I am now is where the Shawnee Brave advert was filmed. They searched all over Europe and then found this estate in Tory Glen. It was ideal because there were derelict buildings and about to be pulled down, so it didn't matter that we exploded paint all over them and they ended up all multicoloured. Stand by, initiate firing sequence. And then they say, action. And all of a sudden, bang, 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 bang. Nearly everyone I've spoken to has assumed that it was all done in CGI. It wasn't. Every explosion you see was an actual explosion. What we were really doing is filming a 60 second firework display. But instead of fireworks being explosives with light, we're doing it with paint and liquid. You had one go, we had one go at each shot. There was no way of pretending you hadn't done it already. <laughs> we had to work out how to, to defy gravity and, and deliver tons and tons of liquid very, very, very high up into the air. A lot of the barrels we just we fixed to the side of the wall of that building, but others are going off in mid-air, and those had to be hung from enormous cranes very, very high up. We went to great lengths to cover up with canvas the, uh, the buildings on either side that were still being lived in. The paint was water-based. It was environmentally friendly. A lot of the crew would get splashes from the paint. They would wear, you know, uh, disposable boiler suits and often the, the, the camera would be under an umbrella with a big plastic sheet over it. For a 60 second advert, it was a multi-million pound production. The amount of money they spent on it was, at that time, about the same amount of money they would spend in making films, you know, feature films in, in Scotland. We're going through the full colour spectrum all the way to the top of the building. We're using direct sunlight, back to break water and there should be a very vibrant colour spectrum available. It was an you know, incredibly complicated bit of timing. We didn't know whether it was all going to work, whether those explosives were going to go off, whether the explosions were going to be satisfying and, and you know, whether they'd all been wired correctly. There might have been loads of missing ones. It could have all just stopped off by going. It was so, yes, it was an incredibly tense moment when we were winding up to pressing the button. It's hard to think of any other commercial in recent history that was as ambitious from a just a logistical, technical point of view of making that all work in those six seconds. Very satisfying to be part of.